What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So we're going to check out top 10 Jerry Lawler greatest one-liners from uh, Wrestling Flashback, man. Jerry Lawler was always a good, I guess you could say, color commentator when it can, when it was in comparison to JR. JR was more the play-by-play. -play. Jerry Lawler was more of the color commentary. And they, their, their teamwork worked. It just, it, it just came off as entertaining. Jerry Lawler would be the guy that would, he came off like the, the creepy old guy that would lust over the younger women and stuff like that. And it was always quite comical how much he would be lusting over the older women and whatnot. And he usually would side with the heels and stuff like that. So Jerry Lawler was perfect with jr they just work well together so we're gonna check out some of his one-liners man appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel man let's get right into this thing is this on jerry the king lauder is one of wrestling's all-time greats be in the ring or on commentary the king has had two hall of fame careers Today, we're going to focus on his announcing by highlighting some of his funniest lines and most mm -hmm. iconic catchphrases. It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit squad. <laughs> As we count down Jerry Lawler's top 10 greatest one-liners. Oh my God. Before we begin, we'll run through some honorable mentions. When Jerry saw some of his favorite divas, he'd be sure to let out yep. in celebration. <laughs> but there was one lady he was particularly <laughs> fond of his then wife the cat so much so he had his own cat call for her <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh when my Lola was taken wow. aback by a specific Hold moment, on, he... man. Hey, this was a different time, man. Wrestling boy. <laughs> Could not really do that. <laughs> Nowadays, boys would be in an uproar on social media. <laughs> would say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If King wanted us to pay attention to what was going on, he'd tell us to... <laughs> Another of Lawler's go-to <laughs> phrases was Oh wow And if JR had God Almighty then the king had Oh my gosh Number 10, that's my pick. It was during uh. the Royal Rumble match that the King was in his element as he would frequently mm -hmm. change his pick, pick to then yep. claim he was right all that's along my once there was right a winner. <laughs> he was so entertaining that they had to actually bring him back in 2018 specifically for the Royal Rumble match. Jinder Mahal is my pick. Guys, it's my pick to win the Rumble Royal. <laughs> my pick is here. Your pick. Yeah. I may want to change my pick. I love the fact that he would just frequently be swapping picks like, ah, oh, nah, that's my pick the entire time. I knew this guy was going to be the winner. <laughs> I Number love nine, it. extremely crappy wrestling. Now we all know how funny of a heel King was on commentary, mm -hmm. but we can't forget how great he was at cutting heel promos, especially when he was speaking about ECW mm -hmm. or extremely crappy wrestling, <laughs> as he regularly referred to them as. It's the ECW Sustainers, extremely crappy wrestling. Jerry pulled no punches <laughs> when talking about the promotion, and this added immense fuel to the yep. fire when it came to the ECW invasion storyline mm -hmm. in 1997. The ECW, extremely crappy wrestling. <laughs> To which Lawler was at the forefront as he defended the WWF by showing up in ECW multiple times. I don't think the ECW extremely crappy wrestling's got anybody tough 
extremely crappy wrestling. Everybody thinks it's fun or funny, but ECW, extremely crappy wrestling. Like the Adams family. Let's don't forget one of the great brands in uh, sports history that he created. Extremely crappy wrestling. Number eight, look out. If Danger was there. Duh, he, he straight was Burying ECW extremely crappy wrestling. Guy. When something impactful was set to go <laughs> oh down, oh my so god, this is great! Superstar being put through a table. King was usually on hand to tell the wrestler to mm -hmm. the look out. Sound advice, but more often than not, it was too late. <laughs> but the King's concern <laughs> typically did help add to each of these moments. Oh my good, yes, bro. Oh my god. God damn. Oh. No, no, look out. Look out. Oh my gosh. Number seven, Latino Heat. One wrestler King helped get over with his commentary was Eddie Guerrero. In the year 2000, Eddie would coin the phrase Latino Heat when describing his character. Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat. Latino Heat. And the King made sure we never <laughs> forgot the nickname by saying it any time Guerrero was on screen. It's the way he said it. Latino Heat! Ooh, this is Latino Heat! <laughs> Latino Heat! <laughs> Number six, <laughs> bouncing off JR. King, oh being the color God. commentator, would frequently antagonize JR in hilarious fashion mm -hmm. by supporting the heels. Why are you worried about his knee when he landed right on Triple H's head? Mm. Why don't you run down and give him mouth to mouth? And sometimes JR would come out with his oh. own wacky comment, so oh. Lola wouldn't miss an opportunity to call him out on it, which made for entertaining viewing. <laughs> Their undeniable chemistry made them one of the best commentary pairing in wrestling history. They are a, they're, in my opinion, they're the GOAT status of wrestling commentary. Them two right there were phenomenal, bro. They were great. They were great. Love them two together right. on commentary. For Jezebel. <laughs> Over the years in WWE, if oh. something unexpected occurred or was said, then it would be common to see Lola react by shrieking. What? A vintage mm -hmm. kick and catchphrase that's always fun to hear when watching old shows. What? It's the what? was perhaps at his funniest whenever oh, he was telling man. any of his long list of jokes. Lawler always had countless zingers prepared and ready to unleash whenever the time was right. There have been so many that this could even be a separate video itself at some point. But here are 10 of King's jokes we found particularly funny. See, when I think when Andy was born, his father wanted a boy and his mother wanted a girl and they were both satisfied. Oh. Oh. I understand that when he was a little kid, he was so ugly that for the first six months you diapered the wrong end. Is that true? <laughs> Doesn't make you a great wrestler, just like 
Larry King having nine wives don't make him a great husband. That's what you <laughs> mean, man. You don't know anything about rock music. Your favorite rock group is Mount Rushmore. <laughs> your favorite? Bro, your favorite rock group is Mount Rushmore. Stu and Helen Hart produced more tragedy than Shakespeare. I heard the Blue Meanie actually had an, an experience with a hoe one time. And she told him not on the first date. <laughs> It's so funny to me, bro. Only diva here in the WWE whose bathtub has stretch marks. <laughs> Number three, the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. Oh, One of yeah. Jerry's most recitable lines involved mm -hmm. the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. As any time The Rock geared up for the people's elbow, King was on hand to hype up the move. It's the most electrifying, electrifying move. move. It's sports entertainment today. Oh, the people's elbow. <laughs> This only added to the maneuver's over-the-top presentation. Uh -huh. Sure, it was only an elbow, but try not to get excited as the great yep. one threw his elbow pad into the crowd while Lawler sang the move's praises on commentary. Yep. That's a fine move. What's in the team? Woo! Look at that, bro. Look at that, man. Number two, Scream. This wouldn't be a proper tribute to Jerry the King Lawler unless we included his iconic high-pitched scream. He did this so often, some might have found it annoying, but it's all just a part of the King's charm, as mm -hmm. it's hard not to crack a smile after hearing Lawler's familiar yell when watching classic WWE. Poontang your ass on Poontang your ass on Lally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You hear that? <laughs> Number one. Puppies. Yep, King is that perhaps has to be most number remembered one, for the perverted the puppies he played <laughs> during the Attitude Era. Puppies, which Show is us your puppies. signature phrase. Although the term was actually first used by the road dog. It was actually the road dog who came up with the term puppies. We want to see her puppy. Wow. It was Lola, however, that made the line famous by using it to describe female wrestlers' breasts. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the puppy. I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> the puppies, JR. Look at the I puppies. Guess we got this Labor Day. The puppies had the night off. <laughs> Are you ready for some puppies? Bro, well, he said leaders got the puppies in the net. Oh my god, no. <laughs> we want puppy. <laughs> Nothing sums up the King's pervert persona more than when he would go nuts for the likes of Deborah and Trish Stratus. Let's hear it for Deborah and her puppies! <laughs>
this dick. <laughs> Wait on the arrival of the puppies right here at Manhattan Sob. <laughs> King will go down as wrestling's funniest and most entertaining characters. He's had the distinction of having both a legendary in ring oh and my commentary God, career. Bro. And while he may be one of the sport's most decorated wrestlers, he will perhaps be best remembered for his announcing. If he throws him up on the other side, there's <laughs> That's it, he's there, yo. Yep. Funny moments, even more hilarious. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, man. He landed right on his face. While his chemistry with Jim Ross helped provide the perfect soundtrack to what was already great television. What are you going to do now? Mm -hmm. You want to be one of those champion Batista? Shut up, JR. Shut up. You <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this one, be sure to check out our similar video on the top 10 Jim Ross greatest one night. Oh my Have a great god. Day, and I'll see you next time. Oh, this was a great video, man. This was fantastic, bro. This this is why I say JR, Jerry King Lawler, the best to ever do commentary as a duo bro that's just my opinion man let me know down below what's your favorite jerry the king lawler moment bro uh this 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 compilation and uh, just seeing what he added to the commentary booth it's just it makes you appreciate him even more but i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace